Hey, what's up guys, Scamfeev here, and welcome to this Team of the Season Suzayeta review. Now, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, as always, I'm not great with names, but anyway, this guy is 35k, 35k for Team of the Season card, that is insane, and guys, there's an annotation on screen, I packed the Team of the Season on my main channel, go check that out if you haven't already. But anyway guys, 6 games, 7 goals, and 2 assists, it's not the greatest record at all, but man, this guy was fun to use, really, really good to use, and his shot was surprisingly good, I was really surprised with his shot. Originally my plan was to run down the wing with him and cross it like a sweaty bitch. But when I started shooting with this guy, I, I realised he's actually got decent shooting. His card lies to you. I mean, you saw he has decent finishing, 89 there. You wouldn't expect that on a card with 78 shooting, which is ridiculous. And in game, you do see it. You'll see it in the clips. His finishing is really, really nice. Good finesses and stuff like that. Really, really fun player to use. And um, as I say, just in general, really, really good player. For 35k as well, that is a very cheap team season. You've also got to bear in mind, this guy is a position change. His norm card is a cam. And as you can see, his team of the season is a right wing. Anyway, guys, getting down the wings, this guy is quick. He doesn't feel 88 quick at all. He doesn't feel that quick. He feels about 84, 85, but um, I think that's down. His dribbling isn't great, but yeah, he, as I say, he just didn't feel as uh, fast as I thought he would be. But he, the main thing, as I said, his shooting really, really surprised me. Set pieces and stuff like that, I think it's going to be a common occurrence between team and season cards, to be honest. They're all going to be hyped up, so they're all going to have pretty good set pieces. But um, as I was saying, shooting-wise, this is what shot me the most. He's finishing... Look at it. It's ridiculously good. He's got freestyle weak foot as well, and he can finish with his left foot really, really well, which was awesome. As I say, freestyle weak foot isn't great, but um, he was finishing well with his left foot, and his right foot I've got no issue with. His shot's not powerful. I'm not going to lie. It's not a powerful shot, but it's a very, very accurate shot. As you saw there, not the most powerful shot. It was quite slow, but it glided around the keeper and had a bit, nice bit of curve on it, which was awesome. I'm going to actually give this guy an 8 out of 10. Now, that is quite a high rating. For a very cheap player. So yeah, I do advise you to pick this guy up because he's very fun to use. I mean, look at that finish. A cross goal finish past the keeper. Really, really nice. And as I said, the shooting is what surprised me the most. Pace-wise, as I said, didn't feel as much fast as his car suggested, but still very good. Dribbling-wise, I've got no problems with. His crossing was very good when I did use it. As I said, I like cutting inside and shooting. But when he's crossing, when needed, was very, very good. And um, to be honest, 8 out of 10 is well deserved. Really, really fun player. And he's cheap. So please try this guy out and let me know how you get on with him. Because as I said... Fun player, 35k, bargain in my opinion, really, really is. Anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this review, remember to leave a like, comment below if you want me to review next on this week's team of the season. Whew. Thanks for watching guys, have a good day, and as always, adios. Even though that makes no sense, goodbye.